Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel, today. So, to start off, I have the first um, makeup uh, items <laughs> from Off-White's new beauty brand called Paperwork. And these are the imprint face and body uh, solid pigment sticks. Um, here's what the outside packaging looks like. They launched with six shades um, and I got four of them. Here's what the imprint sticks look like. You may have already seen me feature this on my Instagram, just some swatches of the colors and everything. Um, this is the red shade called Signal. And then from the brand, I think it's called Rouge or maybe just Rouge. Let me show you R-O-U-J-E. Um, oh, share with Rouge and hashtag Livy and Rouge and try to win a $200 Rouge voucher. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Fun. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I guess they're like a fashion, some sort of fashion brand as well. So, you know, different than Off-White, but maybe like a retailer or something. I, I don't know, but um, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, I think they have some lipsticks and some lip things or something, um, but this is their first sort of like face palette, I believe. Um, let me show you, Jesus. <laughs> Um, but so it's one color story uh, or shade sort of selection here. Um, there's three highlighters and three blushes um, and they're all creams. And then finally, <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing the Tower 28 um, Sunny Days uh, tinted sunscreen, skin tint, you know, whatever. But I've worn this plenty of times and I've been playing around with the uh, pigment sticks and um, this face palette as well. So it's, you know, none of this is really gonna be a first impression. Um, I already have thoughts on everything, but we'll sort of really do a deep dive <laughs> today. So uh, let's start with the sunscreen. So I have shade 05 Fairfax. Let's see, it says safe for sensitive skin, vegan and cruelty free, won't cause breakouts. It's reef safe, mineral sunscreen, alcohol free. It's made from 60% post-consumer recycled waste materials. And it has a 12 month shelf life. And it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. All right. I will say off the bat, I love the little cute little sun thing in the middle. <laughs> Just a cute little design. My skin is pretty well prepped. Um, it's humid, so I don't feel like my skin's really been dry recently. So you screw off the clear cap and it has this sort of like little squeezy dropper kind of applicator. Um, let me just show you the shade here. It's a good shade for me. It definitely, it works nice. It works nice. It's kind of runny, but also has a nice texture. It's not watery, it's just a little runny. So here's one layer on this side, just blending it with my fingers. Um, every time I've worn this, I've just used my fingers, um, just like, you know, casually before work, just kind of like throwing it on. Um, and I, I think it applies very nicely with fingers. I mean, not really streaky or anything. Um, it, it, it just blends in really nicely. It's really smooth. Um, it's not a fussy kind of formula. Basically, in my experience kind of testing, I mean, I've been testing a ton of more sheer sort of skin tint like formulas like um, the Jones Road What The Foundation, um, uh, Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Foundation, the, the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, and the Say Slip Tint, which I will have a review on uh, soon. But in my experience wearing them all, <laughs> this one has um, lasted or worn off the nicest um, in terms of coming off on my mask at work. Um, I feel like this one's had the least transfer, basically. Actually, all the formulas that I've mentioned wear pretty gracefully, in my opinion, but this one especially, I think. I have quite a bit left over on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna tap some over 
and kind of try to build it over, you know, my extra red areas. We'll see if this builds. I haven't really tried building it yet ever. I've just worn it very casually, you know. That might have built slightly, but I kind of feel like this is sort of the most coverage you can get from it. I don't I don't really feel the need to build it up too much. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this level of coverage. I'm just going to go under my eyes a little uh, with the uh, Jones Road face pencil in shade number one. Okay, so before I go into my eye look, I want to just use a little bit of Terra from M Cosmetics. Hopefully I blended that okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna like kind of strategically set my face a little bit, just a, just a smidge, um, with the Pat McGrath under eye powder and this Chikahoto a Z series brush. Not sure about the number, but it's the cheek and highlight brush. With my Shakuta angled face brush, I'm going into the Romand Better Than Shape powder. So let's get into the paperwork imprint sticks here. So here are all the shades. Um, I'll swatch them for you, of course. I have Zone, Maze, Signal and Lucid. They're kind of in like a nice uh, marbled looking kind of like plastic. Um, on the caps of each shade, they have different colors to, you know, of course, signify the color. <laughs> um, and they say off white on them. Uh, they have like a twist up mechanism here. These are face and body pigments. So really there's not kind of like any rules or guidelines on how you would use them. Of course, I mean, the first instinct for most people is going to be um, on the eyes as sort of like an eyeshadow, you know, kind of deal. Um, but in sort of like, you know, like the campaign and everything for them, um, they have just little sort of designs like TM. On the face of another model, there's like this crisscross with arrows, sort of like a design all around. Basically, I just kind of wanted to mention that because I think that throughout this brand, there's gonna be that theme of kind of like a nondescript description. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think the philosophy is kind of like um, these are tools for an individual's creative expression, <laughs> which I mean, that really is, you know, what all makeup and, and stuff is about. But I think it's at the forefront kind of with this brand. How I've been kind of testing them out um, is just really kind of going for it and smudging them all over the eyes, blending them out, um, just kind of seeing how they are as solid washes or blocks of color. <laughs> for review purposes today, I think I'm just gonna try to do more of a traditional um, <laughs> eye look, but I am definitely not opposed to exploring more kind of graphic looks and different kinds of sort of looks with these sticks. But for now, we'll just keep it, you know, simple. <laughs> for me and the way that I do my makeup, I think I would just use these like one color at a time and then mix them um, with other shadows to create the full look. I feel like I haven't had too much, too much success like mixing them with each other. Um, and I also find that between the different shades, there is kind of a difference in, um, not necessarily texture, but just like for, for like, for example, um, this violet shade, 
uh, is a little bit patchier than uh, the red, for instance. Or um, I found this kind of more like highlighter acid yellow, a little bit drier on the lids and uh, than the green. So I think that there's, just depending on the pigments in them, uh, just a little bit difference there. And the red one is my favorite. So we're gonna be doing a look with this one today. And I'm excited to see how they blend with other shadows and things. Because so far I've just done like, you know, the all over the eye kind of smudging it out. So yeah, let's do this. And another thing I've noticed, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just messy, but <laughs> um, I feel like the, the component just gets a little messy. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna stripe this on. So you can see they they go on very opaque and they're they're very pigmented. I find them to be smooth to the touch, um, and they're lightweight on the lids. And I'm just gonna sort of blow out the edges with my finger. They are um, self-setting as well, but I find you can still kind of like blend like this a little bit. <laughs> gonna take the rougher number one and we'll just see how it kind of goes with the brush. I do have a bit of fallout, just a tiny bit of the pigment falling out, but but it's really easy to remove just with this little brush coming right up. Actually, I'm sort of living just for like this on its own. I don't know. I think I'm still gonna try to do like a matte on the outside too, just to really kind of like go there. I'm gonna take a bit from the Crush Quad from Semi Haze. This peachy color, what's the peachy color called? Oh no. Well, the names are on the boxes, so I don't know the color of this, but I'm going in with this one. Uh, Sonya G Worker 3. Just adding it to the perimeter. Taking the Pencil Pro into that same pink. And then I think what's gonna be fun is I'm gonna take Firefly from Club Nebula. It's like a green shimmery topper. Yeah, I live. <laughs> I just need a bit of gloss. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> Posh gloss from Victoria Beckham in Ice, the clear shade. Yeah, I think this is like as far as I want to go with it, to be honest. Oh gosh, I hope you're not disappointed. So before we jump into the cheek palette, I'm just gonna do my brows um, using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow Gel and my mascara with the uh, Lancome Lashy Doll. Okay, so let's get into this cream palette. I think I mentioned this before, but I had heard of this brand, um, but when I, I kind of like wasn't really interested just because it was just lip stuff, and I don't go crazy necessarily for lip things, although there is a new lip thing coming that I'm trying that I am excited for. But typically, it's not the thing that I really go crazy for. <laughs> but when I saw this palette, I was like, oh my god, like, I love the kind of, you know, the tortoise shell. I love the shades. Um, I loved the, like, the campaign. I think it was, like, beachy. I don't know. I just loved... I. I instantly was like, I really want to try that. Um, so, you know, I, I just love when I see a product and that happens, when I'm just like, ooh, yes, like, 
Please. <laughs> Give that to me now. So again, there's three shades, kind of a champagne-y, a goldy, and then a more taupey bronzy highlight. And then we have a berry, coral, and then nude rose. This one, the darkest highlight, um, I wouldn't use it on, on me as a highlight, but I have used it on the eyes and it works nicely on the eyes. I, f I feel like it kind of like wears away, like if you touch your eyes or something like that, it'll kind of like rub off. For just a quick little, you know, put it on and go, it works great, you know. I think for this look, I'm gonna use the champagne highlight, the lightest one, and then probably, let me see. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the corally. Yeah, honestly, it goes really nicely with this look. And you can see it's very pigmented. Although it's pigmented, it, it blends out softly. You know, you can definitely work it in and blend it out nice. I always get blush in my hair, <laughs> especially with the blonde. I feel like I literally am always getting blush in my hair. It's crazy. So I'm gonna go into this highlight shade here. It's a very wet looking highlighter and it's like borderline metallic. And I could kind of see that in the campaign images. I was like, Damn, like that highlighter looks like kind of intense. And I feel like it is. Like, I, I feel like it is a pretty intense highlight, but it's still refined. Like, you know, it's like I said, more, it's borderline metallic. Like, I, I don't know. It's right on the edge. <laughs> I think I'll just do a little bit of blood too from Pat. Okay, so let's zoom in and we'll go over my final thoughts. Okay, so let me start with the tint. I have some kind of minor creasing under my eyes on the edges over here, um, but I really think outside of these lights, you wouldn't be able to see it. It's just in this, you know, very stark lighting, it's visible. My skin looks like bouncy, you know, it looks juicy. <laughs> I have a few dry spots where there's, like I had some pimples like there, there, over here, there's a little bit of dryness but my forehead dry spots, like I said before, it's been really humid. So just feel like overall my skin hasn't been that dry, but I have been breaking out some. It's because I um, <laughs> have been uh, sleeping in my makeup. Ah, I know it's literally the, the worst, but it's just because I've been wearing very light makeup daily, you know what I mean? Like just super minimal, like with all these tints and stuff that I've been trying, it's just very kind of like fresh makeup. I don't even feel like I have any on, you know what I mean? I know you should still wash your face, but it's like, uh, sometimes I'm just tired. <laughs> um, I know this was sold out for a really long time after its release, um, and I can see why it, it's just a really good formula. It's really comfortable on the skin, doesn't feel like anything, just just really nice. So I do recommend this. Okay, so these pigment sticks. Um, so like I said before, there's six shades and I just happened to get all of the really sort of bright colors, but they also have a black and a kind of like reddy brown, a little bit of a reddish brown, you know. I think they're unique in the way that they set down um, while they're a creamy texture, it's also almost like a thin, slippy texture as well. So they're creamy, pigmented, they glide on really nicely, um, but they're not a typical cream formula, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a, a different texture. I don't think they're difficult to use necessarily, I just think most people are gonna have a problem using them just on, on their own. I think 
like you're gonna probably want to use like I did with this look another shadow just to kind of help everything be a little more seamless around the edges um, even though you could technically do a more precise look and just let it set like that and, you know, have it be more graphic. I think there's a little bit of a learning curve because of the way it sets down. That's all. You just gotta kind of learn the timing of it. I don't really see any creasing. I feel like they have that long wear factor, but I do think the violet one, um, takes a little bit more finessing <laughs> to kind of make it look right. Just because I, it, it, gets, it gets a little skippy, I feel, when you're trying to blend it. Um, but the red, none of that skippiness, I feel. It's just, it's very smooth. I don't know, I'm just very impressed with the red. I love the red. I don't know how many more times I have to say it in this video, but the red is my favorite one. <laughs> and this might just, I think this is just the nature of these colors. Like this sort of neon yellowy colors or any sort of neon -y pigments. I think they're, they just tend to look a little drier. Um, and then violets and purples and all that are notorious for being kind of difficult to formulate and work with. It's definitely a bold first launch in terms of the color story. Like it, it is kind of like a little random. I would love to see like a powder blue, a powdery blue, um, just more blues. I just love blues. <laughs> like, let me show you like this color in this formula. Overall with these, I feel like if you like bold color, go for it and grab one that really speaks to you and try it out. So this face palette, um, I love, it's amazing. If you like cream cheek products, this is a no brainer. You're gonna love it. It's so cute, really nice packaging. Oh, I love the color. I love the highlights. Like I said, you could definitely use these on the eyes. They're just, they're so nice. And I wanted to show you so badly because <laughs> the presentation that this came in was really nice, but I can't find, so like it came in, this was in a little red box and then that red box was in like this sort of envelope type packaging thing. And then inside that as well was this flyer and it just kind of has a, a, some good information about the product and the, the campaign pictures. It says here there's coconut oil, jojoba oil, cocoa butter. This just, it feels really nice. It, 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 overall, the whole experience ordering from them has just felt really luxurious and I've loved every second of it. <laughs> I just felt so chic reaching for this um, on the daily. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Um, I feel a little weird because <laughs> I haven't filmed in like a couple weeks, but we're here, I did it, I filmed, and I'm back in it. <laughs> so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Follow my Instagram, prettyearthangram. Follow me at newness, you're notified every single time I'm doing a live stream. Okay, goodbye.